Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something fun. We are making a new recipe. My best friend made this last night and she raved so much that I had to make it today. I have all the ingredients. We are doing a butternut squash chili. Now I'm kind of going with my own little uh, recipe here. She kind of gave me the gist of what she put in hers, switching things up a little bit, but hopefully this turns out absolutely amazing. So I hope you stick around and let's get started on this hopefully delicious recipe. Okay, so all I've done so far is just brown off a pound of hamburger. You could also use uh, ground turkey or ground chicken if you'd rather do that. But I had hamburger on hand, so that is what I'm using. So once that is all browned up, I'm going to be adding one onion chopped, and then this is a mixture of sweet and spicy peppers from the garden. Uh, I have probably two or three small green peppers that are sweet, and then I have a couple hot peppers, one little baby habanero, and uh, a couple uh, chilies, wild chilies. And we're going to get them sauteed up. And while that's happening, you want to go ahead and cube up your butternut squash. So now, if I already have mine done, you could do them as small or as big as you want. Just know that it's going to take longer to cook the bigger they are. But I did nice little bite-sized cubes. Um, and this is from one medium, medium to large butternut squash and it has been peeled so I peeled it I got rid of the guts and this is what's left okay so our onions and peppers have sauteed and so now we can go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients so I have my butternut squash throw that in and then I have a quart of tomatoes these are from last year and they actually have some onion in them too I kind of did a stewed tomato, but only added onion to it, but it smells so good. And whenever you put liquid in, you can go ahead and scrape the bottom of your pan and get all that yummy flavor off the bottom. So next we're adding a jar of green chilies. And this is my first time opening up a jar, and oh my, they smell so good. We're putting the liquid and all. And then you want a can of black beans. Now you can add as many beans as you want. I'm trying to keep this uh, lower carb, so I'm only adding one can, and I am going to drain it first. A little stir and I only have this on a medium heat I forgot to say that now we want to add about a tablespoon of honey the sugar is just going to help bring out the flavor of that winter squash it's not going to be enough to make it a sweet dish And then we want some oregano, some cinnamon, that was about a good healthy teaspoon of oregano, we want about a teaspoon of cinnamon, and we can always adjust this later. About a tablespoon of smoked paprika. I have some garlic, granulated garlic, and you can add fresh garlic if you'd rather do that. I'm feeling lazy today. And then we need cumin. A couple tablespoons of that. And same with chili powder. 
Oh, this already smells so good. One, two. Okay, and again, if we need more later, we'll add more later. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put salt and pepper. And what I am using is a smoked salt with uh, pepper in it. It's more pepper than it is salt. Okay. Give everything a nice stir. And then we're just going to let this cook. I'm going to turn it down to a medium low. And I'm just going to let this simmer until that butternut squash is completely cooked. And then we'll test flavor. We'll see if it needs more or less liquid um, and go from there. But this already, like, this looks so delicious. All right, so this has been doing a low simmer for about 30 minutes now. You could let it go longer, just know that the squash that's in there, or if you wanted to use pumpkin, uh, which will have a slightly different flavor, they will get mushy and kind of just puree themselves into the chili. So if you don't mind that, then just let it go all day or however long you want. But this is so hearty looking. I am so excited to try this. So let's get a taste test now that it has pureed for a bit. Mm. Oh my goodness. This stuff is amazing. I'm going to add a little bit more garlic. Because you can never have too much. And just let this simmer a little bit longer. Because I don't think these are done enough. Uh, no. They're done. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Um... They still have quite a good bite on them, actually. So, just for reference, 30 minutes on a low simmer. And they're pretty perfect. So, I'm just going to let that garlic marry for another 10 minutes. And then we're going to be plating this up and eating it. And my lid was on the whole time. All right. So, you can do anything with this. Uh, cheese. You can do cheese and sour cream crackers noodles however you chili i think this would be delicious it's not sweet so even though we added the honey and we added the cinnamon the spiciness complements that slight sweetness it complements the flavor of the butternut squash this stuff is marvelous it is definitely going to be in rotation with my regular chili because it is neck and neck with how much I enjoy this. Oh, gosh. Mm. It's so good. I hope you try it out for yourself. So I hope everyone has a wonderful Wednesday. This is definitely going to help me get over hump day. And I will see you all in my next video.